Hello and welcome to St. Francis Episcopal Church and our thought for the week. My name is Father Mitch and I would like to share a reading and a meditation with you today. First, I will open with a collect from last Sunday. This collect is from the second Sunday in Lent. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, whose glory it is always to have mercy, be gracious to us all who have gone astray from your ways and bring them again with their penitent hearts and steadfast faith to embrace and hold fast the unchangeable truth of your word, Jesus Christ, your Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our reading today is from John chapter 5, verses 1 through 18. After this, there was a festival of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, there is a pool called in Hebrew Beth Zatha, which has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew they had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I am making my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat, and walk. At once the man was made well, and he took up his mat and began to walk. Now that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who had been cured, it is, not, is it not the Sabbath? It is not lawful you to carry your mat. But he answered them, The man who made me well said to me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take it up and walk? Now the man who had been healed did not know it was Jesus. For Jesus had disappeared to the crowd that was there. Later, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Do not sin any more, so that nothing worse happens to you. The man went away and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews started persecuting Jesus because he was doing such things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, My father is still working, and I also am working. For this reason, the Jews were seeking all the more to kill him, because he was not only breaking the Sabbath, but was also calling God his own father, thereby making himself equal to God. The meditation today is titled, Walk. Jesus has just performed his second sign, with the first being the changing of the water into wine at Cana, and the second, also at Cana, the healing of a royal official's son in Capernaum. That particular healing was one with Jesus not even being present. But here, by the Sheep Gate, was a pool that has a reputation for miraculous healing. While not in a text, some other texts contain an explanation that those being placed into the pool when the water is stirred are made well. Here, Jesus doesn't even bother to offer the place, offer to place the man in the pool. He simply tells the man to take his mat and walk. Just like that, the man is healed and moves on. While it is important that in the healing, the man was able to take up his mat on Sabbath, which is apparently against Sabbath regulation. I would like to take a minute to look at the man ill for 38 years. For 38 years, this guy's been waiting to do some ritual that he has all his faith in will heal him. It is unclear what his condition is, but I would wager that there is some resistance to being healed. I would like for us today to think upon a time in our lives when we were that man. 
Maybe we are that man right now. When are you going to be rescued? When is somebody going to save you, make you better? In an old sermon, I heard a preacher say that God amplifies action that serves God's purpose. The preacher said that if you sit there, God will amplify that. But zero times zero is still zero. Stop waiting for others to help you when you are stuck and listen for Jesus. Listen for his footsteps coming to you. Listen to him asking you, do you want to be made well? Listen to your excuse as to why you can't be made well. Listen for Jesus' order to stand up and take your mat and walk. It'll be a command you cannot refuse. You'll be so shocked that you will not notice that Jesus has disappeared into the crowd. Try to notice and give thanks. Sometimes we get into positions that are way beyond our control, yet we can't afford to sit around for 38 years waiting for a person to rescue us. Jesus tells us to take up our mat and walk now. Until next time, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.